Welcome to a vlog. This is the first vlog we've done, and today we're going to be going through Google Trends. Now, what we searched on Google Trends was women's rights and children's rights, two different search entries, and see how they compare. And the image will show that children's rights really isn't searched quite as frequently as uh, women's rights, but you can see the trends are almost the same. They follow pretty much the same uh, ups and downs. Now, women's rights searched by region, number one is the US, two is Australia, three is Canada, four is the United Kingdom, and five is India, whereas children's rights by region, first is South Africa, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and then the US at number five. Now, you see these ups and downs in the data, and it really makes you wonder, why are they going up and down? So I've taken each up, and I have looked up the date and I've seen what events are going on. Now, if you look at most of the ups, they actually happen to be right around March, and that's because March 8 is International Women's Day, which is what actually most of the peaks are chalked up to. But one of the first ups that you see is really right in between December 4th and December 10th, 2011, where there were a lot of deaths and killings, um, in the six days throughout the world actually. So December 7th, a security expert and anti-corruption activist is killed in Honduras a day after journalist is killed, leading to a ban on motorcycle passengers, which uh, the journalist was female, which may have led to this being searched, but we're not quite sure. You can't be absolutely certain with all of these because it's not a for sure thing. You can't. It's not a for sure thing. You can't look at what uh, everybody is searching. December 8th, two people were killed at Virginia Tech, and Virginia Tech was actually put on lockdown. And that ends that sort of peak. Um, the next peak is going to be March 4th through 10th of 2012 right where International Women's Day actually is. March 4th, there was a study conducted that found that 160 children in China, and specifically Dongtang, is suffering from lead poisoning uh, from the water. In March 5th, three things happened. The first is that two people are killed and at least six people are injured in a shooting at a hair salon in Romania. The second is that gunmen disguised as police officers shot and killed 27 of Iraq security members. And the third event is that a death toll uh, has been counted for a tropical storm in Madagascar and it is 65 deaths. March 6th, still in this time frame, is that at least 39 people are killed across Syria and the Red Cross is unable to provide aid to multiple neighborhoods. And the final event is the one that I really think caused this peak. It's on March 7th and it was that a woman suicide bombed and killed five police officers in Russia. November 2nd to 8th. 2014 is another big spike that wasn't that March time frame where International Women's Day is. And really the only event was November 2nd. 300 members of a tribe are executed by ISIS in western Iraq. The second event is that at least 60 people were killed and 120 injured by a suicide bombing in Pakistan. All of this all of these events are going to be down below. It's going to be typed out so that way um, anybody that really doesn't have time to watch this video can uh, read it or you can read it while you're listening to the video. These Google Trends is really inaccurate as far as actually predicting things and also as far as uh, explaining why certain things are searched. It's a really great tool for figuring out uh, where people are searching what, but not so much a good tool for researching why people are searching things. For example, we really don't know exactly why people are searching 
women's rights and why it does peak at certain times. It took a lot of research to figure out specific current events that were happening throughout that time period that people uh, decided to search women's rights for children's rights. And it actually took a little bit of digging, so it's it, if anybody was to just look at it, they wouldn't know why that was happening. My opinion is that Google Trends should be used Obviously, it's a great tool for figuring out where people are searching things, uh, when it's been peaked, but it's really not a good tool for figuring out the specific. There's really not a whole ton of information as far as specifics that goes into it um, without uh, adding more to it. For right now, you can't get a whole ton of information from three graphs and a chart. Also, this is just a broad search term, when women's rights is it can be searched with other things and with other words in the search bar or with none at all it could be just plain women's rights or why is women's rights important who is influenced by women's rights etc etc it really could the list goes on and on and it really is kind of unless we were to invade people's privacy we really won't be able to figure out why people are searching we really couldn't figure out why people are searching, what they're searching, and how they're searching it. In other words, it was interesting to try to look at why the trends started to trend, and why they peaked, and why they didn't peak so much, and exactly what we speculate that the caused that peak. But really, you don't know for sure. So while we did look at all of these different current events that most likely led to those search terms, we really don't know and so it's really just an entertainment more so thing than it is a for sure study tool this is right about where we're going to be ending the vlog today thank you for watching